Hi everyone, Leslie from Discovery Fabrics. Today we're doing a video featuring a coat that Twig and Tail is releasing this week. Um, they sent me the pattern and I don't actually have pictures of it sewn. They have had it tested and it's ready to go, but I do have the technical drawings here. Um, very cool pattern. What we really love about this lined jacket is that it's got um, options for pretty much every size you can imagine for, for children, for men's sizing, for women's sizing. So it's very inclusive. And depending on the fabric that you choose, you can make this a winter coat or a summer coat. So um, we recently just did a video on um, showing a, you know, a wide variety of outerwear fabrics, whether you're needing them for rain, for snow, for warmth or whatnot. And we did a separate video just on jacket and coat linings. So we don't want to repeat ourselves here because this one's going to be very specific to the Grove Coat. If you are interested in learning more about the fabrics that we carry, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Discovery Fabrics, and or join our Facebook group, So Inspired by Discovery Fabrics. So without further ado, I would like to talk about the Grove Coat. So um, one of the um, material requirements is that you have a stable fabric, so you can use a soft shell or you can use um, a wool you can use a, a heavier cotton basically you can use anything as long as it's not super stretchy so that doesn't mean you can't use a fabric that has a little bit of stretch if a little bit of stretch is used that's just going to add ease and really doesn't change the sizing this particular fabric that I'm showing you here is called Pacific Tech and it is a soft shell and it is quite um, warm because the uh, water repellent outer face is bonded to a lovely soft fleece. So this is going to give you a little bit of extra warmth. Um, now what I thought would be kind of fun to do today is rather than just say you can line it with this or you can line it with that because we do have many lining um, options. I want to show you fabrics that we have that would be kind of cool to line with that really are not lining fabrics. So what I'm showing you here is a fabric we carry that's a sun protective athletic fabric called Solar Stretch. So this is a knit um, and it does have stretch. So when you are using um, something stretchy for a lining, you just have to be really careful that you, uh, you might want to cut it just a slightly smaller and don't stretch it as you sew, and it shouldn't be any problem to line with solar stretch. Um, but we have some uh, really fun new fabrics. Last year we got a fabric in which we call Sun Pro, and Sun Pro is a very lightweight stretch woven that is 50 UPF sun protective. We try to have fabrics here at Discovery that are not only pretty and fashionable, but also very functional. So um, this one has got a tiny little bit of stretch to it. It actually is water repellent as well. So this on its own, you would use to make, a, say, a travel shirt, something that dries fast, very lightweight and sun protective. But wouldn't that just be the cutest lining on the Grove coat? Um, and it also obviously would match a red or whatever color you chose. And here's another choice we thought would be fun. This is also in our Sun Pro. So this is Sun Pro Stretch Woven, and it's pins. So kind of cute for the sewist. It just kind of reminds you what your hobby is. And um, the last one I have to show you with the black fabric. This is really fun. This is a print that we had done that shows basically for travel. It shows all the great cities of the world and some iconic monuments and whatnot. And I just thought that that would be a really fun lining. Now Sun Pro is not opaque. So it's generally a top weight if you're buying it for tops. It wouldn't be a bottom weight because you can sort of see through it. But a fantastic lining. And this would make it so that the uh, Pacific Tech doesn't grab at your clothing at all. So next up, I'm going to uh, mention the red fabric that is beside the Pacific Tech. This is by Polar Tech. Polar Tech is the mill that invented fleece and they still make some of the most fantastic outerwear uh, fabrics, including um, waterproof, breathable Neo Shell, which I'll be showing you in a minute, and Power Shield Pro and Power Shield. This happens to be a Power Shield. It's a little lighter. This um, particular one, um, I, don't, I actually don't have a style number on this, but it has fleece on the back as well, but it's slightly lighter, and it has just the tiniest bit of stretch. 
So that would be um, a great fabric to use for the Grove coat. And also it would match some of the linings that I just showed you. Next, I'm gonna show you a fabric that we have uh, limited supplies in. This is by Scholler. Scholler is a mill from Switzerland that makes the finest um, outdoor fabrics. And this is just a stretch uh, woven that is not water repellent, but it's really lovely and warm because of the wool content. And the fabric that I have beside it is not SunPro, it's actually called Surfer. Now we got this last year, um, and these are all custom printed. We do everything custom. So this um, group of fabrics is in our lightweight stretch wovens, but it is called Surfer because it makes you think of the weight that you would need for a board short. So we call this uh, Surfer Hippie Garden, and it just looked really cute with that. And we have many other colors as well of the shoulder wool stretch woven, but I just kind of given you some out of the box ideas. Right over here, I have two colors of uh, the Pacific Tech, which the, is the black that I first introduced you to. So that's got the fleece back. And again, this is another surfer that would normally be for board shorts. And this is called Surfer Monstera. Um, and it just adds a little bit of pop for lining. Uh, you know, we certainly can use uh, many different kinds of uh, lining if we choose, but it's fun if you have a little bit of color, especially if you're using a solid and not a print for the outer. Um, this is another, um, this is actually a Sun Pro, this one, but it's pretty cool and that would be nice with that blue. So I'm also going to show you, I'm just gonna take a couple things off the table here and give myself some room. I'm going to show you a couple of really high-tech shell fabrics. So I'm going to introduce you to uh, Power Shield Pro and Neo Shell. So let me see what I got here. So we have, where's my tag? Here it is. Okay. So this is Power Shield Pro lightweight in a fuchsia color. Now. Uh, Power Shield Pro is made by Polar Tech and it actually has a membrane inside of it that is a waterproof breathable. And when we say waterproof, we mean waterproof by industry standards. So um, it, you know, we don't seal our seams, but it is highly, highly water repellent and it's going to keep you dry for a good long time. And then this particular style, which is 6633, um, it's also moisture wicking on the inside. Now, normally this is not a fabric that is required to be lined, but if you're wanting to, to beef it up and either give it a little bit of uh, pizzazz or pop for color, then you wanna line it just for fashion reasons. And also, if it bothers you that fleece is against your skin, then this is gonna give you that smooth finish. So this is just an example um, of another one of the surfer colors that we have, and this is called a Surfer Paisley Pinks. And it also goes beautifully with this next one that I have here which is, just hid my tag, should have been more organized. This is a Polar Tech Power Shield Pro Lightweight in a style 6631 and it's called Celeste. And it's just this gorgeous, soft, soft, kind of between a minty blue green. And it also looks really, really lovely with the Surfer Paisley Pinks. And then I wanna show you Neo Shell. Now, it's very complicated to do uh, shell videos for us because literally they could, uh, they could last for hours. This whole section is all, you know, many, many different styles of Polar Tech Neo Shell, Polar Tech Power Shield Pro, Polar Tech Power Shield, Polar Tech Wind Block. I mean, there's just uh, Pacific Tech. There's so many that we have. But this is a gorgeous color. It's very lightweight. This is uh, Polar Tech Neo Shell with Stretch, clear blue in style 6753. And see, it's just got a, a beautifully soft hand and a, the, a tiniest bit of stretch. So this is a very lightweight fabric and you definitely would want to get your warmth by choosing something that's going to either give you that warmth or if you want a lightweight jacket, then you would just choose to line it with either one of the fabrics that I showed you already or another lightweight lining. So I'm going to stop showing you all the pretty colors. Well, except for one. And I'm gonna show you some standard linings that you could consider using on any of the jackets that you're making, and in particular, the Grove jacket from Twig and Tail. So, if you are looking for warmth 
and you just wanted to have a standard quilted lining, then really this is all you need. It's, uh, this is the part that gets hidden. This is just a typical quilted uh, polyester nylon lining and it is, we just call it quilted lining. So there's not anything terribly high tech about it. It gives you a little bit of warmth because of that batting. You know, I guess if you wanted to make a super warm jacket, you could buy Primaloft, which we also carry, and you would have to probably sew it to the lining and then treat that uh, lining and the jacket as uh, fabric, as just the two fabrics as outlined in the Grove pattern. If you're looking to have just an inexpensive black or white, very smooth, soft, lovely fabric to line your jackets. This is called Aerospace Tech. Aerospace Tech has no stretch. It's 100% polyester. It's actually, you know, not a liner fabric. We use it for a lot of different things because it has water repellency. Um, if your outer fabric is not windproof, um, say for example, you're using fleece or um, the shoulder wool or something where the wind could come through slightly, then this is going to make the jacket windproof by virtue of having a lining that is windproof. We have it available in black and white. And just for fun, we had Aerospace Tech printed in this gorgeous color. I had it printed in Vancouver a couple months ago and we just have one roll of it. But every once in a while we do that just for fun and we do limited edition prints. And uh, next up I'm going to show you Heat reflective lining. Now this is something that we have specially made for us here at Discovery Fabrics. You might have seen this in some major brands. If you look, I think look, brands like Columbia, a few other outerwear brands have a, um, a shiny silver heat reflective lining inside many of their jackets. And uh, it is um, windproof, it's downproof, um, but what we find is that it makes a beautiful, beautiful lining. And if you have a warm outer fabric, then this is going to help retain the warmth that you have um, by virtue of having already a warm jacket. But just to be very clear, this will not keep you warm on its own. So for example, if you made a, a very lightweight jacket and you put a heat reflective lining in it, it's, it really has not got a chance to retain any heat because your body is letting it go through the outer, outer layer. So bottom line is it's a beautiful liner. It does reflect a certain amount of body heat, um, but we like to be really honest and clear about our fabrics and we know that um, our customers appreciate knowing exactly how they should be used. And last but not least, I said I wasn't gonna talk about anything that I already talked about in the other video, but I do wanna show you one fabric, which is uh, a bipolar tech as well. And this is called Polar Tech Alpha Direct. And this is, um, a fantastic high-tech fabric. It looks very strange because um, it comes in many weights. This is the lightest weight and you can actually see through this weight. Uh, many companies are making standalone hoodies and all kinds of things with this fabric, but it was intended to be a liner and it was created for the US Special Forces um, for when you are very active. It actually will keep you warm enough, but if you are very active, it releases excess body heat and then will keep you warm if you stop temporarily. But again, to be very clear, uh, this is an active insulation. This is for people who are, you know, very active and they don't want to get too overheated. Um, but um, you will not stay very, very warm in this. It's a very lightweight lining. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in our Facebook group, So Inspired by Discovery Fabrics. And as I mentioned earlier, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can see all kinds of videos about technical fabrics because we teach about them all the time and we sew with them too. Thanks for watching.